hey, good morning, West Coast Johnny. Thanks for stopping by. It's a very overcast day here, uh, but it's not supposed to rain till tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some fiberglassing done because like I said, I'm gonna work on this thing every single day till me and my wife could take it camping. And there's a, a lot left to do, but I'm telling you, I so much has been done already. Uh, I've been working on it for over a year. You know, new frame, new flooring throughout, uh, all the cabinets, uh, everything's been gutted out and it's all going back. Uh, a lot of fiberglass work. It's, it's, it's been a labor of love, but it's a, it's slow, it's a slow process. But like anything, when it's done, it's done, right? So let me show you what I'm doing. Follow me. All right. All right, well, I just put the uh, advanced polymer adhesive on. I'm gonna put my other little bracket in now. It goes right back in the corner. Right now, I'm just heating up the fiberglass a little bit. I'm warming it up a little bit. Okay, well, so I got those pieces in the middle cabinet. So here's what it looks like. Got the one on the left, the one in the center, and then the one in the corner right back there. And um, they're not fiberglassed in yet, but they're going to be. All right, so here we go. Here inside, I got this cabinet. It's all supported with all kinds of uh, supports. And I'm about to actually glue those two pieces up inside behind this, okay? It's, it's gonna be one piece here, and there's gonna be one piece here. And then once it's fiberglassed in place, you know, then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like little nuts and bolts that kind of go through here here and then in some other spots with caps to hide the screws so this is supported at all kinds of weird angles because it needed to go up and over so it's right where i want it to be so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to put this piece right up behind here i just put this on it's a really good um polymer construction construction adhesive so here it goes Now I'm holding it up there, see? I mean, you can't see, but my, other, my fingers on the back are pushing straight up because I'm actually adhering it to the uh, fiberglass shell, uh, the egg, not to, to the, not to the cabinet. Okay, there, that ain't going anywhere. Second one, it goes right, you can almost, you can see where I cut away. It goes right here, so we're gonna put this up and hold it in place okay now i can let go now tomorrow when i take this down these will be ready for fiberglass and we're going to fiberglass all of them same thing over here tomorrow when this comes down every single piece inside will get fiberglass let me show you so uh see that it's, I got all the pieces, they're all in there, and you can't see, but there's some up in here. There's one up in here, and there's one up in here. Same on this side. There's one up in here, 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 and then you can see in there, okay? Now tomorrow, when I take this cabinet off, and this cabinet off, and this cabinet off, then we'll, you'll really get a, a, a sense of what I'm doing as far as how I'm gonna put the cabinets back in without using any rivets. Um, like I said, you know, I'm doing this, it's just me. Um, I just kinda don't mind doing the extra step. I just don't want any, any rivets in this trailer anymore because I did have a leak, so it has been fixed. Now, after these are done, I'm going to be working on the vent. I gotta make um, this, I gotta cut this bigger to a 14 inch square. 
right now it's it's the original um i had the original vent uh it was just like you just lifted it up and it was like a little screen there was no motor or anything so that's going to be coming up probably in another week or so so uh anyways i'm going to go ahead and call it a night it's dark outside in the morning we're going to come out and i'm going to take these cabinets down well okay. i've been working on this thing all day since this morning um and i'm working on it again because i'm trying to get all my cabinetry uh situated in the next week or so so that i could paint my cabinets or okay maybe not paint them i don't jump the gun but you know i could do other things like uh like make the cabinet doors for them and then i could paint them so anyways let me show you what i'm doing all right so here we go here inside i got this cabinet it's all supported with all kinds of uh, supports and I'm about to actually glue those two pieces up inside behind this, okay? It's, it's going to be one piece here, and there's going to be one piece here. And once it's fiberglassed in place, you know, then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like little nuts and bolts that kind of go through here, here, and then in some other spots with caps to hide the screws. So this is ported at all kinds of weird angles because it needed to go up and over. So it's right where I want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this piece right up behind here. I just put this on. It's a really good um, polymer construction adhesive. So here it goes. Now I'm holding it up there, see? I mean, you can't see, but my, other, my fingers on the back are pushing straight up because I'm actually adhering it to the uh, fiberglass shell, of the egg, not to, to the not to the cabinet. Okay, there, that ain't going anywhere. Second one it goes right. You can almost you can see where I cut away. It goes right here. So we're gonna put this up and hold it in place. Okay. Now I can let go. Now tomorrow when I take this down, these will be ready for fiberglass and we're gonna fiberglass all of them. Same thing over here. Tomorrow, when this comes down, every single piece inside will get fiberglass. Let me show you. So, uh, see that? It's, I got all the pieces. They're all in there. And you can't see, but there's some up in here. There's one up in here, and there's one up in here. Same on this side. There's one up in here, 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 and then you can see in there, okay? Now tomorrow, when I take this cabinet off, and this cabinet off, and this cabinet off, then we'll, you'll really get a, a, a sense of what I'm doing as far as how I'm gonna put the cabinets back in without using any rivets. Now, after these are done, I'm going to be working on the vent. I gotta make um, this, I gotta cut this bigger to a 14 inch square. Right now it's, it's the original, um, I had the original vent. Uh, it was just like, you just lifted it up and it was like a little screen. There was no motor or anything. So that's gonna be coming up probably in another week or so. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. It's dark outside. In the morning, we're gonna come out and I'm gonna take these cabinets down. Okay, well, it's been a couple days now and uh, everything's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the cabinets out. All right, okay, well the cabinet is off and what we have are these little mahogany blocks. See that? So they're um, about an inch and a half. And they're all glued in place. I'm just, uh, right now I'm just trimming a little bit of any extra glue, you wanna get that out, any, any of uh, the glue. Because um, we're gonna 
fiberglass all around here. We're gonna fiberglass these all in place so that when we go to put our cabinet back in, the cabinet is just gonna bolt to these with some nuts and bolts with some uh, little rubber washers. So there's gonna be uh, no vibrations. And I also ordered a bunch of the new, um, it's like 1 8 inch by 9 16 um, it's, it's like a little edge edging for RVs. So I ordered some white stuff I found online and it's on its way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the other cabinets off. So the kitchen cabinet is um, what's going to go on here. You know, these are all going to get fiberglassed in place. And then the cabinet will literally be attached to these pieces with, uh, you know, little rubber washers and nuts and bolts. But I can see right now the elephant skin. I have a little room here. I don't know if you can see that color. See that? I have about three quarters of an inch. Well, maybe that's not much. Um, but over here, I have about an inch and a half extra. So I'm gonna cut about half of this out. And because I wanna fiberglass this mahogany to the, to the shell itself down below as well. So it's gonna be all fiberglassed all the way around. And uh, you know, we're gonna put the resin on it really nice. So it's gonna be like one with the, with the trailer. All of them are gonna be like that. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these. And then we can go ahead and refit our cabinets. And if they fit well, which they should, then they'll be ready. I could, you know, go ahead and start painting them and making the cabinet doors. So I just wanted to show you this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start See, these all have, like I said, certain angles, okay? I think these are the 25, and this is a 30 degree angle, okay? These, these were just curved, and this was a five degree angle. But anyways, I wanted to show you, so here we are. Also, now that the cabinet is out, I can cut out more of the elephant skin because um, when this block gets fiberglassed in, I'm gonna fiberglass all around the block, okay? As long as you can't see, as long as it's hidden inside, you know, um, this is kind of excessive. Originally, I was gonna make a really long block, but that's okay. I'm not afraid to cut a lot of this out on the inside because I've been saving all the pieces and I'm going to put a lot of little pieces back in and then I'm going to be spraying and matching the texture around the edges and ideally you won't even be able to tell anything was done when you open the cabinet these are going to be painted the same color you know as the and all the elephant skins are going to look really nice and all the blocks will be painted white and you won't even it'll just look kind of factory you'll just see these little uh you know, little um, nylon bolts with a little rubber and metal washer up there, just holding them in place. And, uh, but anyway, so don't be afraid to, to, you know, liberally cut away because um, I'm gonna show you a really cool way to close this up too. It's gonna be like all this, you know, I know it's a lot, but I wanna fiberglass these. I want plenty of room to fiberglass. I can't go any lower than this because the cabinet goes right to here. So that's okay, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna probably try to fill most of this back in. And the piece down here that got fiberglass, it used to have a hole for an air conditioner. Um, you know, this, I'm gonna try to put this in, I'm gonna match it up real nice too. Okay, so our chopped strand matting, 
also known as CSM fiberglass. Here's how it's going to fit here. We only have 5 eighths of an inch, but that's okay. See that? I'm going to put it in just like this, and then we're going to roll it with our corner roller, and it's going to actually do a lot. So we can get all four sides glassed in, and that's going to make it really strong. But first, I got to go grind all this glue off. I have a tool. I'm going to go get it. And Cleaning them up, I'm trying to get all the glue off from around the edges right here. And um, see that? Because, you know, you have to have a clean surface when you're fiberglassing from fiberglass onto fiberglass to get that chemical reaction, the bond, it's not gonna work good if you're just going directly over like dried glue, it's not the same. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning all these up and I've been, I've been using this abrasive uh, disc, just kind of, you know, going like this. I got this angle grinder at Harbor Freight for uh, $49 and, or maybe $39. And the abrasive disc was only like $5. And that's helped a lot. Um, so anyways, Unfortunately, it's only 57 degrees out today and it's not going to be warm outside until I think three days from now. Today's Friday. So I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday, it's going to be 70 degrees out. And that's going to be the best day for me to come out in fiberglass because you need to have at least a 70 degree temperature to fiberglass. And I'm not going to put this in the shop. You know, I could roll this in the shop, but I got a, a couple other projects going on. Um, there's a Harley Davidson being torn down and a 1930 Model A uh, hot rod being built and uh, there's really no room for the trailer. So, and we are working on this every day. So if it's too cold to fiberglass, tomorrow we're gonna do this. We're gonna cut this roof open and let's see. Oh, I got some other things to do. We're gonna clean up the rest of the elephant skin, get ready to patch some holes. Um, I also have to do a little welding underneath. So there's a few things to do. I can sand the floors down, um, things like that. So thanks for joining along. I'm gonna call it a wrap. If you got any questions, please leave a comment below. I get back to everybody. And this, if this has helped you in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All right, everybody, take care.